Hello, Internet. This is Maria from Gloriana Spirits. This is my third try. <laughs> um, once again, it's taking me multiple tries. The last one was just because it was too rambly. Um, so this is, again, week two of the YouTube Pagan Challenge. And the question is, are you in or out of the broom closet? Um... First off, I'm going to say I'm out of the broom closet, but then I'm going to take a quick moment to talk about where I am. Um, I'm currently in a hotel in Amarillo, Texas, because I am on my way back to home, aka Santa Fe, from Oklahoma, uh, where my family lives. Um, so, uh, I'm hotel right now. I'm gonna go to, I'm probably gonna go to the Barnes & Noble here because it's just down the fucking street, it's just down the highway. I'm so happy! It's just down the highway, um, after this, but, um, mainly, yeah, I just wanted to make a shout out. Videos are going to be a lot easier for me because I'm going home where there is regular internet, unlike my place where I have to go, my place at in Oklahoma, which is basically, oh, let's go into town so I can use the internet. Because <laughs> mainly the internet at the house I'm at in Oklahoma is just not that good. So I can't upload videos or anything. Um, so I want to kind of go in more in depth about the broom closet question. Um, I am not in the broom closet in any way. I make no secret about the fact that I'm pagan. Um, when I was younger, I actually used to kind of share more about it, like, I, in a, this is not the only religion, but I am sharing it with you because neither is yours, and also there's some interesting stuff of it. Um, the only people I've ever had make a big fuss about it are people who don't deal with me on a regular basis, which is interesting. The more they deal with me, and my little, uh, bursts of pagan out the mouth, uh, the less likely they are to mess with me about it. Um, I also go to a great school for it, because while I am more on the European side of things, minus um, one side that I work with is Aztec, and I do some work with um, native deities, including uh, one of my good friends at school is Pueblo, and she, um, her, her grandfather's a medicine man, and she's also part Navajo, and so she's going to be, um, helping me kind of more integrated, get integrated with the local spirits and that kind of stuff, which is cool. Um, so if you ever are around me and you're just like, what religion is she? Or just anything. Well, when I curse, which I'm an irreverent little fuck, so that happens a lot, um, I'll usually be like, uh, besides the normal damn shit, fuck, that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm also God's damn it. Um, God's above. Uh, stars damn it. Stars above. Um, I will use Dresden quotes, because what Dres in the Dresden files, what... Harry Dresden says is stars and stones and hell's bells and I think one other but I can't mainly stars and stones hell's bells that kind of stuff is what I use um if something particular is messing up like mainly technology especially connected to the internet I'll start getting mad at Hermes it's so like Hermes stop it <laughs> necessarily most of the time I deserve whatever he's doing to me if he's ever doing anything to me if it's ever not his fault, um, he can usually fix it pretty quickly. It's nice to have him on call. <laughs> um, but uh, you can hear me just kind of cursing out that. Um, I'll occasionally do chatty chat chats about stuff. If I ever go really quiet, I'm probably doing the god phone thing. Or I'm just lost in my own mind somewhere. That happens. Usually I'm in Chicago for my own mind. Damn it, John. Um, I'll occasionally slip into a little bit more Christian stuff, mainly because I was raised in the Bible Belt, but also because Lou, and he thinks it's funny, so he's kidding. Yeah, everyone else can deal with it. Um, 
Uh, the other thing that really kind of comes out, a lot of the jewelry I wear is stealth devotional. Mainly stealth because it's not inherently recognizable as a symbol. Um, this is uh, a key, which I has to do with my path, and it's kind of the key to all worlds, and it helps me get from places quicker. Uh, there's other stuff it does too, but I'm not talking about that right now. Um, and I used to wear it around my neck, but since I practice archery, um, I started to keep it around my wrist, simply because it can get caught up here, and then I can choke to death. <laughs> not really, but uh, yeah. Um, but it's fine where it is, and I like it. Uh, and then the other piece that I'm pretty common- well, I have two pieces I'm pretty common with. If I'm- I have several, like, jewelry pieces that get on me quite a bit, but, um, the main ones that go around my neck just normally, I have an Ankh that I got in Paris, which was really cool, um, and that's on a necklace, and I have another necklace that is a Labrys, which is- the long pole axe with the double blades, um, sometimes it's a shorter axe with double bladed, double headed, um, that mainly is from the Greek and Minoan area. There's also kind of one up north in the Norse area, but that's more related to Thor versus the one in Greek and Minoan mythology, which in Minoan mythology it was, and I haven't read up on it in a while, but it was apparently um, how the world was created, it was, whoever created it was just like, shik, and suddenly there was a world, Big Bang style, with a giant axe. So that's another kind of hidden, like, stealth thing. I have some other stuff, but that doesn't usually get put out a lot, just because I don't wear a ton of jewelry. This is mainly what I've been wearing lately. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of boring that way. Um, one thing I do do that is more common, I didn't really do it while I was back in Oklahoma, but I will, I have wonderful, easily washable eyeliner that I mark over my face with and usually some fun uh, shapes and stuff. Uh, but it's at least obvious that I'm not Christian to people. Most people automatically think I'm agnostic or atheist, which there's nothing wrong with them. Um, except for atheists that are just like, atheism is the only thing, there's no, uh, no respect. I like the agnostics because there's at least some respect. Um, and that's really kind of all I do. So, I think I'm going to sign off because there wasn't a ton I sh could say about this. Just because I haven't had to deal with a ton of persecution about this kind of stuff, and I'm not overly scared, I don't have reason to be scared to go through my religion, unlike people in paganism uh, and other religions. So, I'm honestly pretty good, and I'm out of the broom closet, and always have been. Never was really comfy there. Uh, too cramped. <laughs> I mean, a broom closet, in and of itself, like, if you actually ever find a physical one, is so small. Because it's just there for the brooms. Brooms are skinny, and I'm not that skinny. I'm skinnier than I used to be. Really skinnier than I used to be. But, I have boobs. Like, more than I would like. So, well, I think I'm going to end this now. Even though I feel like I said that, like, a minute ago. Oops! Because... Yeah, not much else to say on the matter. Anyway, signing out. Blessed be.